Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I've decided to do um, basically showing you guys all of my Starbucks mugs. Now there's from different collections, different years. I used to work at Starbucks back in the day. Um, for those of you who've been around my channel for a while, I've mentioned it a few times. I actually helped open a store. I was a key holder or middle manager, basically. I was a key holder. Anyway, uh, one of the first stores on Vancouver Island, actually the very first drive through Starbucks, 2005 I believe it was, uh, in Nanaimo, British Columbia on Vancouver Island was opened up. I was trained prior, because I was brand new, but I was trained prior at another store and then I helped open up the store. They spent about a million dollars to open the store and they were hoping to make their million dollars within a year. Now, keeping in mind Canada, we love our hockey, we love our outdoor sports or skating and things like that. They put it in the right place, which is smart of them, obviously, because basically they made their million dollars in six months. We even had a party with, about it afterwards, you know, six months in, we couldn't believe. I mean, it was the first drive through. So also too, it was made very convenient. It was right in between all that, like the hub of Nanaimo, all the, the um, arenas and things like that, all the sports centers and complexes. So a lot of the parents would go there and grab their whatnots there and then take the kids or in between skates or what have you. Because of course, as we know, skating and hockey and all that stuff is a pretty big deal here in Canada. So um, before we get any, any further, I'm gonna tell you a few things because I'm finding that because I have a little more time, I'm doing my makeup a little bit more daringly because I'm not really going anywhere. <laughs> So I feel like I can do this. So I decided to do like kind of a mermaid, see if you can look at it, a mermaid look on my eyes today because it is Starbucks after all. Got to have a mermaid, right? Siren or a mermaid kind of thing. So um, I will kind of really briefly show you, but as I always get asked, I will tell you what I have on my lips. Lined and filled I have from L'Oreal's Color Riche Matte Lip Pencil in the color Matte's It. Instead of that's it. And then I have from Bite Beauty, I haven't brought this out in a while, it's flat white. This is flat white. So this is lined and filled through my, my whole lip and I basically covered it all up with this one. And to get the look on my eyes today, I'm just going to show you really quickly. I'm not a makeup person, but I love makeup. So this is like the only creative thing that I do in my life. Um, I use the Tardis Pro from Tarte. And what I did use here is, I'm going to flip this upside down so I don't blind you. I use this entire now top row, but when you actually look at it, it really truly is the bottom row. So I use that all over my eyes, this in my crease, uh, warmed it up on the outer V and into a little bit of the crease, really, really put that in the outer V and that in the center. But to make it pop, to get that real sparkle and shine, actually, and this is like, I have so many of these color pop, um, what are they called? Super Shock Shadows that are very punchy and colorful and I wouldn't normally wear them anywhere else, but I decided to pull out ColourPop's uh, Super Shock Shadow Ultra Metallic in Warrior. And that is what I have in the center of my lid and on the inner corners, again from ColourPop, very inexpensive, you guys know. Um, even for Canadians, you guys, it's easy to spend, I think it's $50 a US on lots of different makeup, you can get tons. And it's free shipping here to anywhere internationally. It's probably one of the best business models I've ever seen from the States when it comes to shipping internationally. This is what I have in my inner corner. This is ColourPop's Supernova Shadow from Kathleen Light's collection. And this is in the color Astrology. So that's what I have on my eyes in the inner corner. So now let's go on to why you're here. Uh, all right, so as I just mentioned, I worked for Starbucks for, for a few years, and when we were there, this, this from 2005, we were given, all the staff were given this. This is a Be Genuine Connect, Discover, and Respond, made exclusively for the Starbucks North American Stores in 2005 Leadership Conference. So this is the, it's like an espresso, espresso cup, so I don't know who the artist is. I don't know, but I've never used it, used it to actually for what it's for, but um, obviously I've kept it as a Be Genuine in the inside. Um, so that is very, very cool. All right, let's do some quick little travel mugs. Now, I wish they made these in Venti's because I started drinking Venti non-fat chai lattes a lot. 
So I couldn't take these to the to the store because I don't have any Vente ones either. But these are just those plastic ones, but like they're reusable, reusable, recyclable, re-enjoyable mugs that they sell. There's no, you know, like it's just, you just bring it in. I think you save 10 cents, I want to say, um, when you bring in your, like a, a cup or a mug of your own. So I have one that's just a regular. And then I also have... Um, it doesn't say what collection, but it was obviously a fall inspired mug here too. So this, uh, I got, and I just wish I had a Vente one now too, because I mean, yeah, I could save money and do Grande, but when I, it's very rare now that I've moved that I'm going to be going to Starbucks. So when I do, I want a Vente, I want a Grande, you know what I mean? All right. So, and then we have this travel mug as well. Um, this travel mug simple simple and oh this is a gorgeous one it's uh very beautiful i'm gonna try to see if i can find the it doesn't really it doesn't matter i don't know all the collections but it's it's actually um like an actual mug and it's in this picture here and it's a travel mug because this part comes off as well and this is also like hardcore like tea mug type Porcelain, I don't know if it's porcelain, but like a porcelain. You know what I'm saying. All right, so now we're just gonna do a couple of these mugs that I have. Uh, they're taller mugs. I would still say that they would be a grande size, you know. Um, let's see, it doesn't say what collection, but there you go. This is the Starbucks one. I do love mugs and I've gotta slow down because if you follow me on Instagram, you guys will know that I just traveled all through North America. I basically left Vancouver Island, Canada, went down into Washington. We drove through so many different states of which I couldn't even get all of the mugs from each state because some of them were run, had run out, things like that. Um, I have a friend of mine here who is from Arizona, so we'll probably do a trade. But um, I got to slow my roll, but I still, I love this collection. I love, they're, they're really fun to do. Anyway, we'll get on to those. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I've had some coffee. Surprise, surprise. So this is a Christmas version. And of course they've got like right there. So that's the Christmas version. A summery version. I love this color. Like this um, mint green is one of my favorite colors. So just really, really enjoyed that one for summer. And then this one was really popular on Instagram. I did see this on a lot of people's Instagram. Um, again, it doesn't say what collection it's from, but the scales, it's beautiful. It's just simple. It is a, like a gold rim, not that it's real gold, but like a, what you see here, it's also rimmed around the outside, around the lip. So that is also very, very cool. I love all my mugs. This is a Christmas one from gosh knows how long ago. Again, it doesn't, not all of them will say what collection they are, but it's like, it's two to three years old. But again, it's just so great to like hold onto your mug. Not hold onto your mug, hold onto your mug. <laughs> All right, so then they started doing, and it was very odd. It was a couple of years, let me see if there's a date. 2002, 2002 Starbucks started doing these mugs and I, I think they were great. It were a bit odd because I bought this one, I'm pretty sure when I was working at the store. So 2002, we probably, they still have them. They never change them out very often. And oddly enough, and I'm thinking maybe, I can't recall when the Olympics were held in Athens, Greece, but I have an Athens, an Athens mug. They're taller than, for example, they're a bit taller, they're a bit bigger um, than the other like being there collections or anything. And this has got sort of Starbucks on the handle, Starbucks and like a picture and then Athens, and I'm not sure, I'm thinking the Olympics were a right around that time. And that's why they brought it out, because there's no other reason why on Vancouver Island we'd have Athens mugs. But um, anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then onwards to the collection that I have the majority of my stuff. So, <laughs> um, this is a lot of the Bean There collection. I think there's a couple versions of the Bean There collection. They might have, I'll look on the bottoms on some of these different ones here. Uh, so as I just mentioned, I traveled through North America with Nelson, my fiance, to get here to Halifax, Nova Scotia. That is over 6,000 kilometers that we, that, actually it's 8,000. We went 
like all over the place. We want to do all the parks. 8,000 kilometers, about, I think I wanted to say five and a half to 6,000 miles. And I think, I don't know the exact breakdown, but and in 12 days. So again, it was kind of like my little game, like, oh, let's find out if there's a Starbucks. If there is, let's duck, it, duck in there and see if I get a mug. And yes, we were able to get a mug at most places. So this is why I have many of them. The ones in the boxes that I will show you are the ones I got on this trip. But we'll start off on other ones. This one's from the You Are Here collection. My friend Brita from Nanaimo. Hi Brita, I know you do watching your girls. Hi girls. She gave me this one, Niagara Falls. So this is the Niagara Falls one in Canada. So those of you who aren't familiar, Niagara Falls is actually, oh and it's blue on the inside. Niagara Falls is on both in the New York State side as well as the Ontario Canada side. But yeah. And this one's from my friend Ramona. Again, this is from the You Are Here collection. This is from Houston. So it's like a brown on the inside and it's all things people know and love about Houston. So there's that one, Space Station, I went there. So cool, that was a, that was a cool day. Thanks Ramona. And let's see, you are here collection again. This is Vancouver Island. So this is where I left to come out to here in Nova Scotia. So there is that eagle. This is a nice green in color on the inside. And I think there's one more. This is the last one I believe in the You Are Here collection. This is the overall the Canada one. This is what you'll see in a lot of Starbucks now, even still, and there's a couple of versions. I have different ones coming up, I'll show you, but everything again that one maybe, especially tourists, would think of Canada. So there's that, and it's red in the middle. And I think that is, now the, this is from the Bean There series, also Canada. There's that. So you can see the, the, the looks of these are a little bit different. Um, this is more detailed than the You Are Here collection. The You Are Here collections are less detailed and the, the Bean There series is a little bit bigger. So again, what is synonymous to Canada and especially people who are visitors to Canada's eyes. Uh, again, Bean There series. This is what I've been drinking my, my coffee out of lately. Of course, this got, has metal on it, so I would not suggest microwaving it at all, but everything that you can probably possibly think of to be Canadian. And of course, it's red and white in the middle. Sorry, I have to duck in and out of the screen. This um, same series, this is a British Columbia mug. So again, they did one for the entire province, which I'll get to a little bit of a story down the road. So all the things synonymous to British Columbia, Canada, that's where I left, that's where I'm from originally. Um, yeah. And then we have Vancouver Island again, but the other Vancouver Island one was of that different series and this is the newer series. So it's very similar, but again, more detail oriented when it comes to the photos. Um, the island is what everyone, yeah, it's true, everyone calls this the island because it's, it is. All right, on to the box sets I have here. Um, what I will say is I'm very disappointed in Starbucks that they basically, after Quebec and eastward in Canada, they just stopped making mugs. They made one mug for all of the eastern provinces called Atlantic Canada because that is what the provinces east of Quebec, so just north of Maine, um, are called, I mean, that's what we call them as uh, Atlantic Canada in, when you generalize in a conversation. But there is Newfoundland and Labrador, New Brunswick, PEI, or Prince Edward Island, and where I am, Nova Scotia. And I just feel, I feel pissed, I'm not gonna lie, that Starbucks just went, oh, okay, we're gonna, oh, you know, you guys are just so small. You know what I mean? You feel, it makes you feel insignificant. I actually spoke with a lady downtown Halifax one day when I went to Starbucks and told her about the mugs I was per like I purchased on my trip and all this and the other and I talked to her about that she's like I know I wrote into I've been working for the like the store for eight years I wrote in and um and just said the same thing like it's not fair why we get lots of people like tons of people who want a mug from the province you know, Nova Scotia has a mug. To really, again, like I'm about to show you, each state, each province that I'm about to show you has a ex synonymous to that state of the U.S., the synonymous to that state in the, or that province uh, that, you know, in Canada. 
and it just it's unfortunate because Atlantic Canada every province eastward in Atlantic Canada they have their own thing that makes them stand out and to group them all together in one which is fine if again you're generalizing but if Starbucks can do these mugs to every state and every province and likely territory I haven't been up north but I haven't looked into it why can't they do them for the smaller provinces? The, these provinces may not be super busy in the winter time with tourism, but let me tell you, in the summertime, all these Atlantic provinces are so busy. This is one of the most beautiful destinations for travel in the summer. Uh, it is known on the license plates as Canada's Ocean Playground, I believe it is. You know, we're here on the coast. It's gorgeous here, it really is, and it just, ticks me off that Starbucks doesn't do that. I think that's very um, non, it's, it's, it's exclusive, it's non-inclusive. And in, in a day and age these days there where people are trying to, every company, every type of business is trying to be inclusive, it's like, mm, you get one mug, all four of you. Because let me tell you, it took me a while to find this out. We got to Halifax and we were here for like a week before our furniture arrived. We went to a whole bunch of different stores. I kept asking and they're like, no, we just have this Atlantic Canada. So for the first couple times I went in and I asked, I didn't buy any mugs. And then afterwards, I ended up just buying the mug because I'm like, okay, I think this is it. And then I was advised um, down the road that, yeah, it sounds like they're doing away with individualizing. Come on, Starbucks. Not that anyone there is gonna be watching here, but anyway. These are in no particular order what I'm gonna show you, sorry for my rant, but I am going to show you the different mugs I bought on route to Halifax, Nova Scotia from beautiful, be beautiful British Columbia on Vancouver Island. First up, we have Illinois. So again, I'm missing a few states. I will be trading for the Arizona one shortly. This is Illinois with a nice dark blue center. Just trying to save some spice. This is Oregon. Oregon here. Nice green on the inside. Indiana. And it is red on the inside. Atlantic Canada, which is what I'm talking about, which is great. I mean, the photos are great, the pictures are great, but I just wish they did them for all the individual provinces east of Quebec. It's like you're telling us out here that we're not special. Everybody else is, but not the East Coast. That's bold. Iowa, you can see we went through a lot of states. In one day, we went through five, four states and, and got into Canada in Ontario. Um, Ontario. Light green. And this next one, I could have picked, this is Las Vegas. I could have picked the one that they had that was like black and it had dice and you know, it was a lot more significant and probably, I didn't look, but probably likely more expensive. But to be honest with you, I wanted to try to keep into the same collection. And then we have Ontario, Canada. This is where Niagara Falls in Canada is located, is in the province of Ontario. Darker blue. All right. Colorado. Oh, Utah is another state. If you're from the state of Utah, we went in, I was in Moab and the one in, in town didn't have any. They hadn't been, they hadn't been restocked in their mugs for quite some time. Um, so if you're from Utah, I'd be happy to do a trade for the Atlantic Canada. But anyway. Michigan. They didn't go like crazy with their different colors. They really stuck with the greens and like different types of greens and blues and reds and oranges and yellows, but they didn't like go like a little crazy with some purple or anything like that. Would have been interesting to see, especially some of the US states with like their state university colors, that kind of thing would have been kind of neat too. But you can tell that they're just stuck with like primary colors and maybe a bit of a twist on each. Uh, Nebraska. Man, in, in the state of Nebraska, oh my word. Um, I saw lots of windmills. I saw lots of corn, soy. That's about all I saw. 
<laughs> there was a lot. There was, it's great, it's cool, but you know, coming from a place where there's mountains and I'm like, oh, it's like the prairie provinces in Canada. So anyway, it was kind of cool. So California. We were in Napa Valley. We stayed the, uh, one night in Napa Valley and it turns out we went to this awesome winery, um, wine tasting. And it turns out the guy that worked there used to go to the private school right down the street from where Nelson, his house on the West Coast is. It still is. He's renting it out. Um, so it was just like small world. Oh my gosh. It's so weird. And last but not least, I have Quebec. So we have the maple syrup there. Yeah. So, and it, it just went with the green, like, so again, they didn't go crazy with their colors, but that's it, I, I don't, sorry about ranting, it's just that it just it bugs me that there's a lot of exclusivity. Um, it's so simple, it's a mug, I know, but it's just kind of like a mm, 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 you're not special enough uh, feeling sometimes, and I just moved here and I'm like, mm, that's not fair. I know nothing, not everything in life is fair, and I get that, but simple mug thing, it seems a bit strange, but anyway, whatever. All right, you guys, thank you guys again for watching. As always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.